first time here welcome my name is Simone today's food haul Friday and I've been to Marks and Spencers and I also went to Tesco's and co-op because I wanted to pick up some plant-based items and some other things that I couldn't get hold of at Marks and Spencers so I spent 90 pounds at Marks and Spencers and I spent 37 pounds at Tesco and I also spent seven pounds at the co-op shop because they had an offer on on oat milk for a pound which is 70p cheaper than um, Marks and Spencers so that's like a dollar cheaper um, yeah so in total I think I spent £134 which is more than last week but when I was looking online I think the I think that's around about the average um, shopping bill for a week for a family of five and we don't eat out this is for breakfast lunch and dinners and me and my husband we don't drink alcohol we haven't drunk for about 11 years so yeah I don't think it's bad going the price also if you see my nails they look a bit horrible because I was using Gorilla Glue and I ended up getting glue stuck on my nails so it's made them look horrible so I'm going to start off over here and I've got these pizzas um, I've talked about them before these stone baked pizzas last time I got the garlic mushroom and spinach for Ryan um, and a plain cheese and tomato for the kids but I decided to get them this one because they do like feta cheese um, so I won't be having this because like I said I'm plant based they didn't have any vegan pizzas but I'm not really into them anyway so Ryan loved this last week, it was really nice, he said, and um, yeah, so this this one, I don't know if he's ever had it before, but anyway, so there's the two pizzas, then I told you you can get different savoury things, so we had onion rings last time, um, and something else, I can't remember now, but they have this um, triple chocolate cheesecake, oh, when I used to eat dairy, the cheesecake from here was my favourite, really, really nice, so, um, so it serves two, but they're going to share it between them with a scoop of ice cream. I've got some ice cream left in the freezer. And then they've got these, these mac and cheese bites. So they, uh, loads of people must have been um, buying the meal deals this week because they didn't have a lot to choose from. But we, they've never had this one before, so I thought I'd give that a try. Well, they'll give it a try. There's loads of bananas here, and it's because Mike is really enjoying them at the moment. Sometimes he'll have like two a day, so I've got loads there all these apples um there's an orchard by where we live and there was loads of apples that had fallen off the trees so we made sure that none of them was like black or disgusting or whatever so we've got all these apples so i'm going to make another crumble and i'll probably maybe juice some as well and put some like green powder and stuff in that to make like a like a smoothie or something um, and we've got four egg packs of eggs here there's six in in there and these are mixed size eggs um, for omelettes and scrambled eggs for Ryan and the kids I've been getting the rotisserie chicken and it's like six pounds usually um, but just for a plain chicken which serves three to four so it feeds Ryan and the kids over two days it was only three pound fifty and Ryan's got loads of spices so he's gonna spice that up and make it for him and the kids I got this for me I really love this soya bolognese I've talked about it before the jam um, for like jam on toast sometimes um, on a night before the kids go to bed they like to have a piece of toast with some jam on and then I got this salsa for nachos, the velvet hummus, it's so much nicer than the other one. I don't know how they managed to get it so smooth but it's really nice. Caleb really wanted some beef sausages because I've not bought them probably, I don't know, for a long long time. It's two for five pounds on um, mix and match on sausages and bacon so I got this, it's just beef and pepper sausages so there's six in this and I've got another pack. So. Um, I'm planning on making a dinner with one and then, or with one and a half packs and then the rest, um, maybe putting it towards like a, a breakfast or something. Um, nine chunky cod fish fingers, the kids really like them, they're frozen. There's these um, chips to put in the freezer. I got these spring onions or salad onions, I really really love these in um, scrambled tofu. I got two avocados. Micah is absolutely loving these at the moment. He didn't like them, and but we just kept introducing them to him, and he's loving them now. Chopped Italian tomatoes, cannellini beans for homemade ba homemade baked beans, and then I got this mixed berries for porridge in the morning. The super sweet sweet corn. 
and then we've got the traditional British oats for breakfast. This week is probably going to be just, uh, but you'll see the photos at the end um, of the meals uh, more than likely and it will be porridge oats pretty much all this week. I got a huge bag of lentils because I ran out and I probably have lentils maybe three times a week. I really love them. They're high in protein and fibre and they're just so delicious and they're really low in fat. So I have red lentils a lot and basmati rice. The kids and Ryan usually have it like once a week. That reminds me, I usually get mango chutney to go with it but I forgot. So I got um, these olives with red pepper in because um, Neva's crazy about olives and Mike is really starting to get into them as well. I got peanut butter, um, they love that with the porridge or on toast and then I got this vegan mayo, I've not been having to buy it as much because I'm only using a tiny bit when I use it now, another hummus um, for carrot sticks and things like that for the kids, I've never bought this before, it's vegan and it's a smooth hazelnut chocolate spread so instead of me buying like a bar of chocolate and eating a little bit um, as a like a little snack thing, I have got this and I don't, do you know what, I don't even know what I'm going to put it on, the kids will probably like it with toast but I don't know, do you know when you're just craving a little bit of something sweet, maybe like a teaspoon of this will satisfy my sugar craving because I'm really trying to eat well to get this extra weight off. So I got these two ranch steaks, Ryan was so happy that I surprised him with these steaks because for the last few weeks I've not been, be I've, um, I've not been um, buying red meat, I was trying like turkey and chicken while giving it to the family and they, they, don't, they said they don't really like spaghetti bolognese with turkey mince so I've gone back to the beef mince um, for the spaghetti bolognese so they're really happy about that. And then those are the pack of beef sausages. And then this steak, Ryan's going to put on the barbecue, even though the weather's not that good. But he just loves having barbecues all the time. We've got lemons. And then I got these kumquat. If I see any unusual types of fruits that the kids have never tried before, then um, I'll get it for them to try. They absolutely love it. We've got a video which I'll link above. It's like an international shop and we bought loads of items like dragon fruit and they tried Japanese mochi. So I'm gonna link them two videos above if you wanna check them out because they're on Caleb's channel. Um, Caleb's had a channel since he was five. So if you wanna check his channel out, I'll link it anyway. So this is um, cherry tomatoes. I think I got two packs of them. I haven't got burgers this week but these were reduced from £2 to 44p so if I do get burgers then we can take these out of the freezer because I think that's a real bargain. I got this um, bread for me but I squashed it, an Oatly Bloomer, I'll put that in the freezer. I've got um, spaghetti, it was only 65p and then I've got two wholemeal loaves um, and they were only 65p. Like I said the kids like having toast with jam on or peanut butter. Um, they've already eaten most of these on the way home because they were hungry. They were just six packs of reduced fat, salt and vinegar squares. I got a uh, con fabric conditioner and I, I don't even know, I hope this is, um, yeah I think it is. I wanted a washing up um, detergent so I got that. I got two broccolis, a baby leaf greens and I got a bag of potatoes. They're not massive this time. I got crumpets. The other crumpets last week weren't that nice. We just got not one with different grains in just regular ones. And then I got these big bag of mixed peppers. Um, they've got them in again which is great because three peppers isn't enough because we usually want to use them every day. I got some more of the egg whites for Ryan's omelettes. A big bag of carrots. Um, brown onions, um, one bag of chili tortilla chips for tapas, um, and then that's everything from um, Marks and Spencers. So I got this fake steak with garlic melt for me for when Ryan has the barbecue, so he's going to cook that for me, so I'll see what it's like. So that's vegan. I've got a vegan spread. Um, that reminds me as well, the kids wanted um, butter, so their butter's over there, but I don't know where it is. Ryan wanted some chewing gums. This bacon is amazing, um, this isn't bacon it's called, it's vegan and I would say it's the nicest vegan bacon that we've tried. I do have a video where we made like a vegan veggie breakfast which I'll link above. Um, Caleb remembered this bacon and he said can you find it to have some so he's excited about that. This is from Boots, I just put it in anyway, um, I got Mike a little hurt and bath milk, I've never used it before but I'm hoping that it will make him sleepy because he's a night owl like me and wants to stay up late when I'm editing <laughs> and I got an organic 
um, tofu and then these are what I've just picked up now for Ryan and the kids they wanted some like wings with the pizzas so these are thighs actually so I've got a couple of bags of them which were already cooked and then two oat milks because like I said I've got some left from the co-op blueberries frozen blueberries whole green beans because I couldn't find them in Marks and Spencers a bag of baby leaf spinach and then I was really really wanting something like crispy um, so I've got these like vegetarian southern style chicken um, so I'm planning I don't even know if I've got the ingredients I wanted to make my own like sweet and sour sauce but I might have one anyway so I'm gonna have rice with that and then sweet and sour sauce like I did last week I've got some more olives because I thought the other jar they're just gonna get through them in no time I got a beef free, beef flavour meat free oxo cubes because I'm going to be hopefully making soups this week with some of the carrots and some of the other vegetables and this is from the pound shop, it's Fabulosa, um, I keep hearing so many good things about Fabulosa and I've been buying a couple of the different scents of different products and I really like it, um, Charlotte from Mummy Clean's got me um, interested in all these types of products so I bought this from the pan shop and then I got two tins oh, sorry two tins of chickpeas for the chickpea curry um, and then closed mushrooms and oh these oh my gosh if you know if you know me you know that I love potato waffles or hash browns and I've made some in my waffle maker myself which I'll link above but it takes ages to make um, so I found these <laughs> hash brown waffles um, so they look so good so I'm excited about trying them um, so Caleb's asked me will I make like um, a breakfast tomorrow for him with the bacon and some of the beef sausages and beans and stuff like that so I'll show you that at the end hopefully anyway um, yes, yeah, so this is a shop. I'm going to show you now all of the things that I've made. I totally forgot to mention these. I really love Richmond meat free sausages. I've got two packs. I'm, pop I'm not going to eat all these um, in a week, but they were on offer with club cards. Um, if you have a club card, you get money off, so they was cheaper. Same with the oat milk from there, they're a pound and usually they're like £1.89. So I decided just to get them. Um, and it's good because they've got like uh, recipes inside as well, but I have made toad in the hold with toad in the hold toad in the hole with these before. I'll try and link that. Um, they're just really versatile, like breakfast or dinners, lunches. Yeah, so I'm gonna put them in the freezer. I only managed to take one photo of one of the breakfasts from this week which was porridge oats. We used different toppings like here I've got apple sauce with banana and berries in the porridge um, but we do like to have porridge pretty much every day. For lunch this week I made four different soups for four days. I do have a video of me and Micah uh, making these soups so I hope to upload them soon. So here's the four different soups to show you and the family really really enjoyed them. So one of them was mushroom, one was spinach, one was butternut squash and the other was carrot I think but like I said I will show you that in another video. So here's a veggie like breakfast. Um, this one's mine with the hash brown waffles, vegan bacon, vegan sausages, scrambled tofu and toast and homemade baked beans with spinach. So nice. Wow, you're doing a good job, Micah. Are you making dinner? Or lunch, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, lunch. Yay. Lunch. Does it smell nice? Mmm. <laughs> Oh, that is so cute. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> is it nice? Yes. Yeah, nice. Okay, so that was Micah helping to cook some beef sausages that were chopped up, like leftovers for lunch. So it, the next videos will be some examples of some of the dinners that we've had. So here are the fish fingers with chips. So Micah had gravy on his and at the back, right, um, not Ryan, Caleb decided that he wanted to have some of the leftover homemade baked beans. Then this is the pizza meal deal. I served it with some olives and I made like a um, coleslaw and then I cooked a few fries at the back. They really, really enjoyed these pizzas. And here is Caleb with his plate. Here is chicken on the left with rice and veg and then there's the vegan southern fried chicken and rice and veg on the right. It tasted quite nice those. 
and then here um, Ryan decided to like cut up some potatoes they kind of tasted like a cross between a chip and crisps and then he had leftover chicken on the left with the kids and he made this really nice chickpea dish and then there's mine on the right I just had the chickpeas without the chicken then here's lentil dal it doesn't look that appealing but it tastes so nice with green beans some mango chutney which I got from this week so this is from this week actually and some rice and then that chocolate um, spread is amazing I got some um, what they call breadsticks in this week's haul and that's what I'm showing you but last week I put the spread on some toast and then here is the chocolate cheesecake and I served it with some blueberries the one what's just all cut up that's for Micah so this was for the four of them and they really really enjoyed this cheesecake so these are some of the examples of some of the foods that I've made um, this week for all of us I hope next week I will be able to show you seven of everything but I just didn't manage to take loads of pictures this week I've made so I really really hope that you liked this video and if you did please give it a big thumbs up and if you're new here I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! Yeah, yeah.